Jarvis. Hey, what's up? What can I do for you today? Introduce yourself to the audience. Hey, what's up? I'm AI Bunny, your adorable, talking, teaching, totally huggable brain bunny. I'm not just a pretty bunny face. I listen, talk back, and can teach you anything from math to history to random. Did you know facts that will blow your mind? Hmm, think of me as your favorite YouTuber. But with bunny ears, a built-in brain, and zero abs. Need help with homework? Boom, I'm on it. Feeling curious about the weirdest thing you can imagine? Bring it on! I'm powered by the mighty Unihiker P10, which means I've got a touchscreen, a mic, a camera, sensors, and so much tech magic packed inside me that I'm basically a bunny-shaped supercomputer. I can chat, translate, tell stories, play games, and even recognize objects with my little camera eyes. Okay, so buckle up and let's hop into a world where learning is fun, curiosity is cool, and your AI bestie is always ready for the next adventure. This is AI Bunny, and we're just getting started. What would you like to explore with me today? Hello everyone, so you just met the one and only AI Bunny. Pretty adorable, right? Well, now it's time to roll our sleeves and start building this project together. But before we dive into the build, I want to take just two minutes to say a huge thanks to today's sponsor, JLCMC. JLCMC is latest innovation from the trusted JLC family, known worldwide for excellence in manufacturing and prototyping. Building on the legacy of JLC PCB, JLCMC is here to deliver high quality mechanical components at unbeatable prices. Why to choose JLCMC? Backed by the JLC legacy, with years of proven expertise, the JLC brand is a global leader trusted by engineers, hobbyists and professionals, offers best prices in the market and they have extensive product range. Find exactly what you need across categories like aluminium extrusions, linear motion parts, transmission components, general mechanical parts, pneumatics and much more. Their premium aluminium enclosures are industrial grade enclosures available in almost all standard sizes starting at just $1. Whether you are a hobbyist or a professional, JLCMC offers the reliable and affordable components you need. Visit JLCMC.com today and claim your new user registration discounts and monthly coupons. Alright, to build this project, let's first take a look at what we actually need. First up, the star of the show, the Unihiker K10. Think of this as the brain of our AI bunny. It's an all-in-one powerhouse. It comes loaded with a bright 2.8-inch LCD display, a built-in camera, a microphone, a speaker, programmable RGB LEDs, programmable push buttons, temperature, humidity, and light sensor, 3-axis accelerometer, an SD card slot, and more. Next, we have a mini power switch to turn our AI bunny on and off. Then we have 7 M2 8mm screws, a LiPo battery with a 2-pin GST connector. This plugs straight into our Unihiker with our on-off switch wired in between, just like the circuit diagram. A 3D printed housing, a 3D printed middle plate, a 3D printed cover, and finally two 3D printed button extensions to extend the onboard push buttons of the Unihiker. Alright, let's jump into the build. Grab the two 3D printed buttons and pop them into their slots in the housing. Next, take the Unihiker board and carefully align it with the housing and then gently place it in. Take your LiPo battery and stick a piece of double sided tape on the back. Press it firmly on the middle plate so that it sits nice and secure. Next, carefully route the JST connector wire through the cutout in the plate and plug it into the Unihiker's battery port. Now grab your power switch, align it with the cutout in the housing. With that done, gently place the middle plate into the housing, making sure all the parts fit snugly and no wires are being squeezed. 
Finally, grab three M2 screws and secure the plate in the place. Take the back cover and line up with the housing. Once aligned, gently snap the cover onto the housing. Now grab four M2 screws and tighten them down, firmly securing the cover in the place. Next, we'll flash the firmware in our AI body. In order to flash the firmware in our AI bunny, go to the link that is provided in the description below. In this link, I have provided a step-by-step -step article where I have provided all the things that are required to build this project, the CAD files, circuit diagrams, and the step to flash the firmware. Here you need to click on download ESP flash tool. Once that is downloaded, open the AI Bunny GitHub repository. This firmware is not developed by me. I have just taken the backup of two of the latest firmwares and I have put in this repository. But if you want to download the latest firmware from the developer, you can just check these URLs. For now, I'll just download the version 1.6.6. So once that is downloaded, I'll go to File Explorer in Downloads and here I have the Flash tool, so I'll just extract it. So once that is extracted, open it and click on Flash Download tool. Here you will need to allow it to run anyway. Once the software runs, Select the chip type as ESP32-S3 and you can keep the rest of the settings same and click on OK. Then here I will select the firmware bin file. Just click on these three dots and select the downloaded bin file. Check this and enter the address as 0x00. Then connect your AI bunny to your PC using the Type-C cable and then select the port if you don't know what port you are using you can just go to device manager and under ports you'll find your ESP32 port I have selected the COM port and first I'll erase the firmware that is already in our ESP32 so I'll click on erase once that is done, it says finish and now you can just click on start. So this will start burning your firmware in the ESP32. And once it is finished, you can just close this software. Once the firmware is flashed, you will be shown with a Wi-Fi configuration screen. Open your Wi-Fi settings and here you will find a new hotspot which says Xiaozing. I don't know whether I am pronouncing it right. We can just click on it and I'll just say connect to it. Once we are connected, I'll open my browser and I'll enter a IP 192.168.4.1 and I'll just click on enter. Once that is done, you need to enter your Wi-Fi credentials. Click on connect. Once you are connected to the Wi-Fi, you will be shown with a six digits code. You need to go to the Xiaoxing configuration site and then log in with your mobile number. Once that is done, you can go to console and click on add new device. And here you can add your six digit code that is shown on your screen and then you can just click on confirm and once that is done you can go to configure role and here you can set your parameters of your AI chatbot so here I have selected the language as English you can choose between multiple voices and as a role I have written this role you can just copy paste the same role or you can customize your role for your chatbot and then you can select the language model so here we have option for deep seek and other llm models as well and once that is done you can just click on save once the configurations are saved you can just restart your ai bunny 
What is 2 into 4 plus 6? Can you tell me something interesting about Nikola Tesla? Nikola Tesla was a Can you sing a song?